Okay, this is going to be a series of 12 lessons on how I do all my designs. I try to keep them under two minutes, so let's just get started. Mine is super fast <laughs> and easy. What we're going to do is just regular print lettering. Um, we're going to write uh, Rick. So as I said before, when I'm doing print, I use this rule of thirds. Here's the bottom of the letter, here's the top, and I'm not usually drawing these blue lines, by the way. This is just for descriptive purposes. And my halfway point is not really halfway, it's about one third of the way up. That's where I decide to drop the uh, bottom of the R, for example, or even the top of the C, where the K connects in that on that line. Makes the letters look a little more interesting. All right, next color. This is a new color I'm trying out. And I hate it, I have to say. But it's still green, so we put green on here. Nice and soft, I'm backing away about 10 inches. And then I'm doing an on-off technique, really soft, and I'm putting a little bit of a curve on it. You can see I'm, where I'm attacking this line. I'm not going straight up and down like this, I'm going to an angle. And then I just continue that process, on off, on off, on off, on off, on off. Don't forget that little curve. You can fill, you go back and fill some gaps if you feel it's uneven. So now you got that. There's a little bit of inconsistency here. You might see some white spaces. I'm gonna go back and kind of darken that up ever so lightly. You don't wanna overdo it. Okay. And there you got something that resembles a swirl. The example I have here is the older version. I, I sort of like filling it in a little more as you see here with some more softer lines. I think that looks better. Either one will work. And then to finish it off, I'll put some yellow on the inside, leaving a little white area in the middle. Again, older version, I used to put it on the outside as well. That's, you can do that. It doesn't look terrible. Might even look better, actually. I'll leave that up to you. And then lastly, drop shadow. Normally I use purple, but in, I think for this design, because green is the only thing in this design, I will just use green again. Drop shadows are a good way to either take your time and make these designs take longer if you got more time to work, or if you don't have time, just take them out, don't do them. Each event will kind of dictate how fast you should be painting, so that's it. That's design number nine.